What is the potential value of space colonies and orbital stations? There are many powerful nations working hard to develop technology and equipment needed to colonize space. Many people ask about the profitability of space resource utilization. It is well known that the ice at the lunar poles will be important for producing rocket propellant and oxygen. But there are many other valuable materials. I have heard many learned people argue that, even though platinum and gold will be readily available in space, if you brought it back, the value would drop so low that it would not be worth anything. They seem to forget that there is a reason why gold and platinum are valuable. They are resistant to almost all corrosion. They make excellent wiring for equipment that must not fail and has to survive an EMP or high radiation environment. The ICBM launch control centers used platinum plated wire memory systems. The average large communication satellite has 20 kilograms of gold in its circuitry. Platinum is an amazing catalyst that will be valuable not so much as jewelry, but because of what you can make from it. Some pollutants on Earth can be scrubbed from the sky and rendered less toxic with massive platinum catalyst purifiers, similar to the ones used on internal combustion engines now. Then there is the question of alloys. In a gravity well like Earth, there are some alloys that are almost impossible to mix due to their different densities. In zero gravity processing stations around the moon, titanium, iron, aluminum, gold, platinum, and even rare elements like osmium, rubidium, and iridium will all be propelled into orbit with electromagnetic mass drivers. There they will be processed into alloys that can be made nowhere else. Osmium is the densest metal known. Lead has a density only half that of osmium. Would an alloy of titanium, lithium, and osmium make the perfect spaceship hull material, providing strength as well as radiation absorption and shielding? We will never know until we try. Another valuable resource will be 3D printed organs. We have the technology now to make stem cells from a patient's adipose tissue and grow a large supply of them. These can then be 3D printed into a gel matrix with growth factors that turn them into the type of tissue needed. This way we can print liver cells with arteries, veins, and bile ducts. The problem is that gravity makes these cells move out of their place before they transform into what is needed. Zero gravity biomedical facilities will receive stem cells from patients on Earth, grow the needed organs to maturity in zero gravity, then send them back to Earth to be implanted. No anti-rejection drugs will be needed. It is your own tissue. It will be your kidney, your heart, and eventually, perhaps, your brain tissue for those who have suffered a stroke. The potential value of space resources is incalculable. Small nations like Portugal were, at one time, a massive naval power, wealthy far beyond their size. Britain dominated the world for centuries, despite being just a small island off the coast of Europe, through trade and a strong navy. History repeats itself. The first nation to dominate space will dominate the future. Thanks for listening.